In this video, you're going to learn how to set up a PayPal custom payment page. When I say that, this is what I mean. It'll show a custom image up on the top where you can give them a message. For instance, in this case, asking them to click the return to merchant button when they're done so that they get the product. Okay, so you do that here. You go down on the selling preferences side in your profile and then you go to custom payment pages. Click on there. Then in here you have your standard page. If you have any custom pages they'll appear up here and you can make them primary just by selecting and clicking make primary. And you can edit it here and preview it. Now if we want to create a new one we just click add. And then in here we have a style name, so we'll, we need to give it a unique name. A header image. You should make a header image or you can create a background color for the header. And you can have a header border color and then a background color for the rest of the page. So you can just set colors or you can add a header image URL. So I'm going to go and show you how to create your own custom image. I've actually given you a blank in here so that you can just use that and modify it as you see fit. Now in your package you will see a file called blank.jpg. What you're going to want to do is modify this. Now you can either use simple paint and just add some text to it or you can use a free program called paint.net that you can download. I'll show you how to use paint.net. You can just do a search on Google to find it, and it's a free download. Okay, so here's what paint.net looks like. So what I'll do is I'll open my file. Okay, so here it is showing up down here. Now what we can do is we can add some text to it or add pictures to it, whatever you want, just by using the control thing over here. Now if we wanted to bring in an image, we could just go into layers and then we could go import from file and then we could bring a picture in. So let's find a picture to bring in. Okay, so I'll just bring this one in for instance. Okay, as you can see, that's far too large. And this is what happens. It distorted our actual banner here. Okay, so let's undo that, and then I'll go back and I'll show you how to modify it. So we click Undo. Then we'll just bring the image in separately here. We'll do a File, Open. And then we'll just bring this image in. Okay, now we didn't lose our other one. See, it's sitting over here, and our image is sitting here. So let's make the properties of this. So we'll go to Image. I'm going to do a Resize. And then we're going to click maintain aspect ratio and then we'll just click this to be 70 okay now we will do a save as and then we'll save it as a different name All right, so now we go back to our first project by clicking up here. Now what we'll do is we'll do that again. We'll do layer and import from file. And then we'll find the small one. And here it is over here. So we've now added a picture to our banner. Okay, so that's on fine. Now what we'll do, when we have that where you want it, put it wherever you want it on here. And then what we'll do is we'll do edit and deselect. Okay, so that's now sitting there. Next thing you want to do is do layer, add new layer, and then maybe you want to put some text on here. And we'll just put our text for my page or whatever, whatever you want on here. Or you could create a graphical text. Okay, so there's your text. You put however much text on here you want. Then when you're all done, what you want to do 
and I would do a save as so you don't overwrite your original so you could make more banners and then you could call this my new banner then down here make sure you select JPEG click save it's going to tell you it needs to flatten it here so just click flatten and it's now ready to go so we'll close up paint.net Okay, and there's our new banner. We'll just click on it to bring up the... Actually, we'll open it with Firefox. Okay, there it is. It's hard to tell because it's on a white page here, but remember, it's sitting in the PayPal page box. So now what we have to do is we have to upload this somewhere because it's expecting a URL. So I'm going to upload it to one of my domains. So I sign into my cPanel, go to File Manager, and then in this case, Public HTML, and then I'll go into Images, and then I'll go Upload Files, and then I'll find it on my computer, and I'll upload it here. Click Browse, select it, will upload. And there it is there. Now we'll go back to PayPal. Now we'll put the URL to our image right here. There we go. And then I could make a background color if I want. And like I said, I can make a border color. And we can put in a color code for the background color of the page if we want. Let's do a preview. Okay, there we are. And our custom banner showing on top. So I click return. And then all we have to do is save our page. And then if we want it to show up on all of our pages whenever somebody goes to pay us, all we have to do is make it primary by clicking this button and it will show every time our payment page is shown. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you create a custom payment page for PayPal.